Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Today I got a package from Gulu Pens. This is my first purchase from Gulu Pens and I'm kind of shocked and find it very funny that it's actually not a pen. Uh, I always wanted to purchase one of those beautiful fountain pens that I'm always seeing in their newsletter, but I decided to go ahead and purchase a passport sized camel traveler's notebook. Now, I decided to buy this, uh, and I know I've said in other videos that, ooh, this is wrapped really well. It's in a box within a box. I I've said in other videos before that I wasn't going to purchase a passport just because I felt like that was way too small for me. And I, I've changed my mind since then because I am going to Disney World and I'm so excited and as I got into thinking about what do I really need in Disney World what do I need to purchase what do I already have so that I can save some money so that I can you know use that money that I saved in Disney World to buy stuff for my other nieces and nephews that are not going to be going with me and I decided that although I have a camel notebook that was in regular size that I cut down. Man, I have to grab something else. To... Okay, I'm back. I grabbed some scissors. So anyway, what was I saying? Okay. I purchased a standard size traveler's notebook in the color camel uh, by the company Medora, formerly known as Medora Traveler's Notebook. And I cut it down to personal size, and I will link that uh, video of me cutting it down to personal size down below. Oh, look, I got a free. I love getting little candies. I enjoy this. Yes, that's awesome. Anyway, I ended up purchasing the camel in regular size that I cut down, and Maury is still my everyday carry. And he's just way too big. He has a bunch of stuff in him that I don't need to take all over Disney World with me. You know, like when you're in the park, you want to kind of travel light. And I've never been to Disney World. This will be my first time. So I just I just know who I am as a person. I know that if I carry a huge bag with a bunch of stuff in it, it's going to drive me crazy. And I'm going to wish that I hadn't done it. So I thought a passport size would be the perfect size to go ahead and jot down some notes of places that I want to go. Like when I'm at uh, Magic Kingdom, I have a lot of recommendations from my other niece and nephew that won't be going, but have been a bunch because they have family that live in Florida. So they tend to go almost every other summer. And they have told me some of their favorite places and favorite foods that I should try while I'm there. And I just kind of need a place to put all of that. Oh, I'm sorry about this. I probably should have kind of wrapped it earlier. Ooh. so cute look it says thanks Sylvia enjoy your notebook right on <laughs> that's so cute okay in green all right so I ended up getting a sample I, I believe this is something to give to everyone as a newbie and I am a newbie to Goulet pens you get one free sample and this was mine and it's in the color sunny yellow I thought that would be a fun, beautiful color. I don't know why. It's just the one that I chose. They had a bunch of different colors, absolutely. But I thought it would look really pr pretty with the camel. Just because the camel is kind of a, a brownish and it has some golden tints into it. So that's what I chose. Okay. So a few important things. Now these are just things that I have purchased in the past that I love and since I had some extra money I decided to go ahead and repurchase. I really really love these little pocket stickers. I love pick, putting them in all of my traveler's notebooks, ones that I've DIY'd and ones that I have bought in. and I have never owned a passport sized before so I assume that I could just use these in the front and the back as well but if not I have plenty of notebooks I can use those in. And I really wanted to purchase one of these. These are just extra elastics that you can put on the inside of your notebook or use as closure, closure elastics. And it actually comes with an extra one of these little 
tin clasps and everything. I don't know. I just think that's really cool. And it comes in green and they have the camel color. Orange, brown, red, and black. And I just thought that that was really awesome. And I should tell you the prices of these guys. Shouldn't I? Of course I should. In case you want to purchase them. Um, let's see here. So this guy, they call it the repair kit, was $10. And these guys that I love so much, I picked up two of them and they were $5.40. I also, let's see, what else did I end up purchasing? I think, oh yeah, I got one of these. I end up getting one of these for one of my DIY traveler's notebooks that's in standard size. And this was also $5.40. And this is just that secretarial pocket that you can put on the back right hand side of any traveler's notebook. And I love these. Okay. Oh, and look. And here we have their signature bookmark that everyone ends up getting, which I, I just think is beautiful. And I love bookmarks because I'm a reader, so definitely going to be using that. And then they give you their little business card with all of their information there, and they sign it. I think that's a beautiful touch. And I love getting stickers. I love to put them on my desk. This is awesome. Okay, so here's what I ended up purchasing for my Passport Traveler's Notebook. I actually thought a little bit about this before I just went ahead and bought the first thing <laughs> that I found, which I definitely do. I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic off of this because it just shines like out of control. Crazy. When I went looking around to see where I wanted to purchase my passport, Traveler's Notebook, I at first originally thought of, of course, Amazon. That is where I purchased my Traveler's Notebook in the color camel from. Now you can see here that um, at Goulet Pens, it's $50.20 all by itself. But I actually decided to go ahead and purchase the kit that Goulet Pens has. So here is the price of the kit that I purchased. It was $63.40. Now with the kit, you get your choice from three different passport size notebooks. You get a choice between black, camel, and brown. And you just have these little drop down boxes here where you can purchase them. And I ended up picking Camel. And then you get two refills. Now that doesn't include the fact that the passport does come with one insert already. So you get a choice of your first refill insert being between a lined or a grid. And I chose a grid. And then, then you got a second choice of an insert and I chose between the lightweight paper, the sketch notebook paper, or the craft paper and I chose the lightweight paper. Now your kit also comes with a zippy pouch and rubber bands in the passport size. And I also purchased one of these cute little craft folders. This did not come with a kit so I purchased this separately. And for the craft folder in the passport size, they were $5.40. So here's what comes with your kit for $63.40. You get two inserts, plus you get an insert that comes with your passport. You also get the rubber bands that helps you piggyback these guys to put in here. And you get this awesome zipper pouch. Now... I can definitely tell you that Amazon had all of these things for sale and like I mentioned on Amazon the passport was five dollars cheaper however the shipping and handling is a lot more expensive than Goulet pens shipping and handling was eight dollars and ninety five cents for Goulet pens and they are based in the US I believe they're based in Virginia I will correct myself somewhere in this video if that's not right but I just, I like the appeal of them being an American-based company, plus the fact that I ended up getting it with priority shipping in about four days. 
I mean, they technically say three, but when you allow them to take a day or so to go ahead and process your order, it's about four days. And I love that. Now, what I had an issue with last time I ordered from Amazon is that when you do order these traveler's notebooks, um, almost all of the sellers that I've ever seen are from Japan. Therefore, you have to wait anywhere from two to three weeks unless you're willing to pay extra shipping and handling on top of what you're already paying and I believe it was something like between 10 and 16 dollars. Now it's going to vary depending on probably what time of the year and how much other things you're purchasing and uh, a lot of times you can get away with getting cheaper shipping if you have like the Amazon Prime and sometimes Amazon Prime will go ahead and tell you that you know some things do not ship with the Amazon Prime for free. So anyway one of the reasons why I chose to go with Goulet pens is because they had the starter kit and I thought, man, that's amazing for people who don't really know what to really purchase. They're already telling you these are like the basics that you really need. Now, I already kind of have been in the traveling world for about a year now. And so I kind of know what papers I like and, you know, what things I really tend to use the most. But for people who aren't really sure, I thought that this was a really great purchase. It's also really great if you have a friend or a sister or a family member that has a birthday coming up and they have senior traveler's notebooks and thought maybe I want to try that this is a really great gift for anybody that you want to try to get just like a start in the traveler notebook world so that is another reason why um, I, let me, I'm trying to think of other reasons. <laughs> Another reason why I also decided to go with Goulet pens is because of the fact that, um, when I looked at Jet Pens, which is another American company, I found that they had a starter kit and I thought that was great, but their starter kit did not include things that I thought people needed to actually start in a traveler's notebook. They tended to have like pens included in their starter kit as well as I believe it was like a Midori brand ruler. I think it's called like a brass ruler and it kind of has all of these um, stencils inside of it and I felt like that wasn't really something that I needed in a starter kit. So I chose to go with Goulet pens. Now I believe Tokyo Pen Shop also sells these passport and regular size traveler notebooks. However, they didn't have it in the camel color and that's the color that I wanted and I don't believe they had a starter kit but you'd have to check and see. So anyway those are some of the reasons why I chose to go with Goulet pens. Now I'm just gonna open this baby up. Now remember that this is a closure that they put on the box but you can use it as a um, second elastic to close your notebook like this. So make sure you take it out of the box and you don't throw it away. See, and I just put it over there and didn't even take it out after I just told you guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, look. Oh, I just, I'm telling you, this leather is really beautiful. Again, this thing is really tight, so I'm going to have to loosen it. And I like that they give you some extra here to go ahead and do that. And like I mentioned, this comes with its own notebook to get you started. And it's just a blank insert. And I find it interesting that the passport size inserts are actually colored cardstock because the regular sized are not. I mean, they have some darker and lighter like grays and browns, but this is like a really pretty like maroon color. Very nice. I don't know what this says. Traveler's notebook. Cool. Just put some information in there. All right, so I am thinking, I mean, look how thin that baby is. This is definitely something I would love to take to Disney World because I do have some bigger shorts that I've purchased that have those really nice big pockets, you know, like kind of like cargo shorts and you can fit this in your pocket either in the front or in a back pocket or, you know, how they have that lower pocket that's on your thigh. And I love that I can just carry this and write some information in it because let me tell you what, I have done a few vacations before where I have one time accidentally left my phone 
in the hotel room where it was like charging and I was making sure I had like money and keys and everything else, got in the car, left, and I didn't have my phone for the entire day. So <laughs> just, you know, relying on my phone to have all of this information for Disney World that I need is just not going to be realistic because even if that doesn't happen, sometimes you forget to charge your phone or you don't plug it in properly. I know one time I was in a hotel room and apparently when you plug in your phone into like the the lamp that has like the little socket built into it, if you don't have the lamp on sometimes, it's not charging. And I was like, what? So I ended up <laughs> thinking I charged my phone all night and it didn't even charge and I left the room again and the phone ended up dying within like an hour of being out there on vacay. So just having something tiny like this that I can write some stuff in if my phone ends up getting messed up or whatever, it's just really important. And then I love the fact that I have this little guy so that I can use it kind of as a wallet. My wallet is about the same size. It's probably a little bit, I'd say a little less wide than this. And it just, it can't fit anything else in it. And I don't feel like taking my whole wallet, but if I wanted to just keep cash in here for Disney World, because I'm definitely that person who has to like take cash and not a credit card, because I will buy everything that I see. So if I can just put some money and say, okay, Sylvia, this is your budget for today and that is it. And if you find something else you want, oh well, it's too bad. It's not going to be the end of the world. And so having this guy in here so I can just carry a little cash is important. I ended up, like I mentioned, getting this lightweight paper. Oh look, it looks like it has riveted pages. That's cool. I love to tear things out for sure. Um, and then I got some graph. And I thought I would need graph in case I needed to make some bullet list kind of things for stuff I want to see, places I want to go, and like I mentioned before, um, food that my nieces and nephews are like, you gotta try. Oh look, it comes with green. Cool. And also the uh, regular sized camel comes with a green closure. So you just, um, if you don't know, you just can switch it out and put the green on here. And I think I will because the green is really beautiful. And I've never used the green on, on Mori. I just have either kept this one or I changed it to blue. I think I like a, a really pretty ice blue. I thought that I would need one of these cute little folders to go ahead and hold some stuff like that, plus some receipts from credit, well, no, I'm, I say credit cards, but I don't want to take my credit card. <laughs> Who knows what will happen? But, you know, just receipts and other things that I might need in this little craft folder so I don't lose them. All right, so anyway, if you are not going to Disney World and you're thinking, well, I'm not going on vacation, another reason why I decided to purchase this is I ended up signing up for a walking club. And I thought at first, when I heard about it, I was like, a walking club? What does that even mean? There are these wonderful younger women and older women that walk together and they're each other's like inspiration to make sure that they walk about an hour a day. And sometimes they take like one day a week where they go hiking. And I thought, I need to hike. I mean, walking, I can kind of do on my own. Hiking, not so much. I definitely need a partner to go hiking with me because, you know, what if I see a mountain lion and I need someone to push down so I can run away? So totally going to go with <laughs> the walking club hiking so that I have someone to do that with. So anyway, that was my unboxing, and if you have been on the fence about getting a passport, I hope that I've given you some ideas about, you know, if you you want to go a little lighter, especially in the summertime, thinking about trying out a passport. And I mean, I don't know how well it's going to work out, but I think it, it was a good idea. It's a good idea to try to be out there in the park at Disney World, not carrying a standard size Midori, because that's going to be crazy and heavy, and I just... I don't want that. And if you're somebody who's thinking about going hiking or even fishing at a lake, a passport might be pretty nice because you can basically just carry it as you walk open like this and stop and ride a little. Doing that with a standard size is going to be a little more difficult and again can become a little more heavier and this kind of forces you to keep things light and easy because it is so small. And I hope that... I end up loving this guy. I think I'm going to though. I already love it. It's such a beautiful leather. Oh, and I love the color. Very nice. And I should show you a close up of the back here where it says Traveler's Notebook because they are no longer a part of Midori. Um, although Midori does make all of these brands. These are all Midori 
brand inserts and accessories. However, now Traveler's Notebook, they are on their own. I think that's kind of cool. It still says made in Thailand. So, all right. Okay. So I have definitely mentioned a couple of places where you can go ahead and purchase one of these little guys. Now, I will tell you that I don't believe Jet Pens had this in camel and I really wanted the camel color. So definitely do some shopping around before you make some decisions. I will tell you that Amazon tends to, you know, have these guys be a lot more expensive. These were $540 and sometimes they're like $740 even for the passport size on Amazon. So at the end of the day, a dollar here, a dollar there, plus shipping and handling and having to wait two to three weeks to get this guy from Japan, I ultimately decided it was cheaper and faster to get it from Goulet Pens. But you know, whatever works for you. That was my haul and thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn.